Hi, this is Todd DeVille from EM Weekly, and this week on EM Shorts, we're talking to Barbara Payne about transportation and the importance of making sure your vehicle and yourself are prepared. Barbara, what do you think? Hey folks, Barb Payne here with Reimagine Resiliency, and today's 60 Seconds is dedicated to mode of transportation. Whatever that means to you, two wheels, four wheels, gas, diesel, hybrid, your own legs, whatever the case may be, whatever vehicle that you rely on to get you back and forth every day is probably going to be the vehicle you need to rely on in an emergency. Three things to think about, fuel, maintenance, and supplies. Fuel, again, gas or diesel or a hybrid battery or your own self, um, you need to make sure that you have enough fuel uh, to leave when, in a moment's notice. Take the fires in Oregon and the fires in California. Folks didn't have time to think about gas. They had to get up and they had to leave as the flames were licking the backs of their bumpers as they're hurriedly getting out of their communities. Having a reliable vehicle of some sort or a vehicle you have access to cannot be any more important than any other element that you think about for uh, emergency preparedness. The maintenance of that vehicle, again, whether it's a bicycle or a car, tires, grease, fluids, you know, for a bicycle, brakes, gears, whatever the case may be, these things you need to check on at least once a quarter. And those supplies that you have in those vehicles or on those vehicles, whether it be something simple like a glass breaker or a seatbelt slicer to water, to rope, to chargers, um, go bags, whatever the case may be, once a quarter, do a full sweep of your entire vehicle inventory and to make sure that you are good to go when it's time to go. Thank <music> you.